How much better are the best cyclists in the world at riding uphill compared to the rest of us? We're going to find out. It's time for beginner versus amateur versus pro hill climb edition. This is horrible. I'm dying. One of the biggest things that separates the world's best cyclists from the rest of us is the awe-inspiring and incredible speed at which they can ride uphill. It's one of the things that captured my imagination when I was younger and drew me to the sport. So in this video, we're going to compare how fast a beginner a keen amateur, me, and a pro can travel up this hill, the Col de Banadown. A 2.6 kilometer climb with an average gradient of around 7%, but with pitches of 15% at its steepest. It's fair to say that this climb is long enough and steep enough that many non-cyclists wouldn't be able to ride to the top without putting a foot down. That's our hill, but who are our riders? Here's a little more info. This is Freddy. He's a beginner. He started riding this year, and although he has impeccable taste in jerseys, don't let that fool you. He is a beginner, and rather than an emaciated pro cyclist, he weighs in at a normal and healthy weight of 92 kilograms. I'm taking the place as our keen amateur. I ride a lot, I love it, and although I lack the talent and genes to be a pro, compared to the average person on the street, I'm very fit. So I'm keen to see how I compare to the others. For reference, I'm 68 kilograms. This is Andrew Feather, our pro. Even his name is lightweight. He's a two-time and current British hill climb champion at hills between one and 10 minutes long. He is up there with the world's best. His VO2 max is 81, which put into context is about double the average man, but still rubbish compared to a husky dog which are typically around 240. Oh, and he weighs just 65 kilograms. The record on this climb is around five and a half minutes. And yes, that record is Andrew's. But before we set off, we will have a poll. Click on screen and you can vote now to who you think will win in our staggered start race. This is the bottom of the fearsome cold Bannerdown, Bannerdown Road, 2.6 kilometers. Up there it is, that's where we're going to go. And the race that we're going to do is a staggered start. So our beginner, Freddy, is going to start first. And then a minute later, I'm going to set off, followed in hot pursuit by Andrew. A minute after that. So I'm just wondering, have you, have you got any uh, tips for, for Freddy? Or, well, myself as well, as a, as a I think, pro. I think general tips, maybe not start too hard. Yeah. Um, and I know that the middle section is quite shallow, so maybe be seated on that section so you can get a good aerodynamic position. But uh, yeah, uh, it's a tough climb, quite long. So uh, yeah, good, good luck both to you. Thanks. Should we have taken our bar tape off like you as well? Uh, I'm, not, I'm not sure how much of a weight saving difference that'll make, but it's all probably all psychological. If he, if he beats us, that's why. Yep. That. Yeah. <laughs> right, Freddie, you ready? Born ready. Give you some beeps. Yeah. Beep, beep, beep. Oh, you bugger! Oh. Bloody hell, this is steep! Fair play for that. If he keeps that up, then I don't think we're going to catch him. This is horrible. Beep, 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 go! Oh. I set off in hot pursuit of Freddy. He'd set off at a Chris Hoy-like infernal pace, and I was hoping that he wasn't going to be able to keep this up. It's coming up to a minute, and they're no longer in sight, so um, it looks like I'm going to have to give myself a countdown, and then uh, try, and go, try and catch him. Beep, 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 go. As I saw Freddy ahead of me, I was able to maintain my pace and keep pushing on. 
getting out of the saddle as the road ramped up a second oh, time. Jesus, what? Unbeknownst to me, Andrew was tearing up behind, making short work of Freddy, closing the gap. Yeah? You catching me? Oh, God. Oh. I'm going as hard as I can, averaging over 400 watts. I'm dying. Oh, God. I hate you! <laughs> Freddie was now paying for his intense start as he continued to battle up the climb. And at this point, my power started to tail off slightly as well, but I did manage to rally to the finish line and limit my losses to Andrew. <sighs> yeah, I can taste blood. That's hard. Fair play though. Like you came past me like I was standing still. I was, no, I was definitely labouring. I'm glad it's over. Let's see if it's Cheer Freddy. He should be on his way any minute. Oh. Last push. Again. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> Good work. Oh, Jesus. How was that? I don't think I can speak. <laughs> no, I'm sick. <laughs> oh. That was awful. <laughs> it's, just, yeah. it's good climb, isn't it? <laughs> so we've all finished the climb and I think one of the one of the great levelers about cycling is it doesn't matter what your fitness or ability is if you go flat out up a climb like that we all feel like we're gonna puke and we can all taste blood and it was pretty savage but like yeah fair play to both of you I mean Andrew absolutely destroyed us all made it look ridiculously easy Climbing it in a ridiculous five minutes, 20 seconds, which was absurd. What, do you know what your power was roughly? Um, I think it was around just under 500 basically. Uh, but it'd be interesting to have a look when we get back. 500 watts, easy. Um, <laughs> I was a bit slower than that. So he managed to catch me in a you know, rather undignifying way. I managed to do the climb in six minutes 40, which is about 20, minute, 20 seconds slower than my best time. But yeah, so he put a minute and 20 seconds into me. <laughs> <laughs> went past me like I was standing still and I did 385 watts average to get to the top so quite good and Freddie managed to climb in what 1328 a fair play uh, I mean how was it <coughs> I've never suffered so much in my life I was awful yeah it was grim oh you did great <laughs> like you never climbed that climb before nope. and you know fair play what, what was your max heart rate as well uh, 177 I believe right <laughs> But the speed you guys passed me, I just couldn't believe it. That was just ridiculous. You guys make it look so easy. It's all good. Right, well, thanks. Thanks so much for your time, guys. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for having me. Yeah. <laughs> However, there is a twist in this tale. Technically speaking, our pro Andrew isn't a pro. He's got a full-time job as a solicitor and he's got a one-year-old and a family, which makes his performances all the more impressive. His power output and his physiology is right up there with what a pro could do. And if you were to compare how the likes of someone such as Julian Alaphilippe would do on this climb, it would be a similar time as to what Andrew can do. But the key difference would be that someone like Julian Alaphilippe would be able to do that kind of time up this climb with already having done 200 kilometers of racing in his legs, which is just a whole another level and truly, truly remarkable. But it's something for the likes of me to aspire to. You know, hopefully I can keep trying and get a bit better. <laughs> I hope you found this video useful and informative and interesting. And if you have, then please give it a thumbs up. And also let us know in the comments what kind of comparison videos you'd like to see in the future as hopefully we'll get around to making them. Right, I'm gonna uh, get a bit more, get a bit more practicing because I think I need it.